Well, so there goes uh, the combine and the header. Uh, that's actually Bill himself. He uh, owns uh, owns the farm. So big thanks to him for uh, coming out here and helping us. And uh, yeah, we got this knocked out really fast. They got here about night six last night, or at ten. That's four hours. We just ran. Not even. I mean, it was 15 minutes. I think. I knocked out 10 acres over. There's about 10 acres probably over there. So, uh, yeah, apparently now we got our machine running too. Grandpa just let me know, so I'm going to go meet him at, I think, the last field and uh, go kind of see what's going on. And, uh, I mean, it will be done by lunchtime, so uh, we'll see. Maybe work some ground. I see how, we, how everyone feels about that. So, uh, yep, we'll uh, be with you in a little bit. Oh, so yeah, the car parked away now. I sure if I said, might unhook it today yet, I don't know. Got the Volvo unloaded with the uh, bean that came from the field that Grandpa was at earlier. And uh, the truck that I was, or the field that I was just at, truck's still over there. And uh, I see we got some line hauled here for the field behind the house. And uh, yeah. Stuff. Well, so we just got the combine moved back across the street over here, and uh, so I'm gonna hop in. The grain cart running across for him, so he has uh, something dumping. I might go work some ground, or at least we're probably gonna get set up to work ground today. So, uh, yeah, let's go head across and uh, get the last of the beans off and be done with Harvest 2020. Well, so we're out of the now. Getting this last little triangle done here. And uh, I grabbed one to go get the truck from the field that I was at this morning. And uh, we already put the one truck away into the barn for uh, the winter. Whatever, you know. If we haul any beans yet this fall or whatever. But uh, yeah, put that away. He's gonna dump the truck at the field and I got the grain cart over here so I'll just take the grain cart back across the road and dump it if I need it again. So yeah. So we're gonna be done here probably in about 30 minutes to an hour. And then uh, maybe we'll talk about working some ground so we'll see. Well so uh here we are almost done. Got another pass to be done and uh, done with harvest so uh, definitely thank you for uh, sticking along with the ride and uh, watching all the videos and uh, I do apologize for having them out pretty late like I'm sure as you're watching this it's probably almost in December I don't know I don't know when I'll be editing these yet but uh, yeah so, here we go. Well, not this one, but the next one, we will be done. Are you kidding me? Are we going to have like a foot left?
appreciate everyone that helped us get through this. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a good start to the, it was a good start. And then uh, these past, this past week has just been terrible. I mean, uh, I mean, I shouldn't say terrible because I'm sure people have a lot worse than us. And uh, some of you guys out where they had a big storm, they didn't get to really partake in a harvest or a harvest with down corn. I know that's no fun. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely lucky. Not record breaking yields or anything, but definitely grateful for what we have, what we have uh, accomplished. So, um, yeah. Here we go. Actually, before I do that, though, lift the reel up, which is the thing that kind of guides the beads in. And uh, I'm going to push all the beans into the center. That way I can run the header real quick and uh, get all the beans out. That way they're not sitting in there inside the uh, shop, possibly attracting mice. back down. Make sure it can won't always put it all the way down. That way it's not in the way when you go transport it and put it away. So yeah, let's dump these beans out of here and uh, I'll drive up to the front of the field and uh, knock the header off this thing and uh, see what everyone thinks. 